Well, for more on this story, I'm joined now by Professor Jean-Germain Gros from the University of St. Louis, uh, Missouri. Thanks so much indeed for, for being with us. Um, how surprised were you that the runoff ended up being so peaceful? I was uh, pleasantly surprised that the runoff turned out to be so peaceful. If you recall, the uh, first round and the events prior to the first rounds were quite traumatic for Senegal. Uh, uh, a number of people, I think four people, ended up dead uh, because of the controversy surrounding Watt's decision to run. So yesterday's election, uh, which was peaceful, was a surprise, but even more surprising was the speed with which Mr. Ward conceded to, uh, to Mr. Marquis Saul. Uh, the election apparently was uh, over overwhelmingly won by Saul. He received 65% of the vote versus 35% for Mr. Ward. Why do you think Mr. Ward agreed to step down so readily? I mean, was there outside pressure, do you think? Uh, I would think two things. Firstly, there was uh, the size, the sheer size of Mr. Uh, Saul's victory. He received once again 65% of the vote versus 35% for Mr. Wad. So the election was not even close. It would have been almost impossible for Mr. Wad to contest given how wide the margin of victory is for Mr. Saul. Secondly, I would guess that there was some tremendous pressure put, put on Mr. Wad by France in the first place and possibly the Americans. What about uh, the, the new president-elect, uh, Makait Saul? What do you think he can actually achieve? I mean, he's got a, a big mandate. He has a legitimate you know, mandate to, to govern, but there's a lot being expected of this man right now, isn't there? Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, uh, Senegal is a very poor country, which has uh, made some progress in recent years, but it's still, it is still very poor. Moreover, uh, it has a very young population. At least 40% of Senegalese are under 25 years old, and the unemployment rate is extremely high. So there is high hope for Mr. Saul, uh, given that uh, you know, he's a, he's a non-quantity, he is a former prime minister uh, of WAD, and he is perceived to be honest and competent. So uh, hope is pinned down on him, but I'm afraid that uh, the resources may not be there for him to satisfy everyone to their liking. But nevertheless, uh, uh, there is great hope for him. It is interesting, isn't it, to contrast the way it's been relatively peaceful, certainly in the, in the runoff elections, in, in Senegal with the coup that we've just witnessed happening in Mali. Mali, of course, was due to have its own elections in what, a month's time, two months' time. Why do you think this coup was launched right now? Uh, it's very difficult to tell. Uh, my own assessment is that uh, the army uh, moved against a democratically elected government out of desperation. Uh, prior to the coup last week, the army had experienced some defeat in the north of Mali, and, uh, and, and, and also uh, uh, the uh, Tuareg uh, uh, have uh, made some gains, not only uh, in, in, in the north of Mali, but moving toward, uh, uh, you know, outside of their traditional area. So I think that this coup is uh, a result of desperation by the army, but I'm afraid that it will make things worse, not better. Really good to talk to you. Jean-Germain Gros joining us there from the United States. Thanks very much indeed for your time. Thank you.